Welcome to the end of the 2012-2013 school year. My name is Alex Predigan and I'm the current director of STEM TV. Take for a moment the opportunity to think about everything that has happened in this past school year. Think about what's gone on in your life, what's gone on with your friends, in your community, around the world. Let's take a look at what really has happened. Take it back to September. In September 2012, One Direction were the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards, winning three Moon Men, including Best New Artist, with their song What Makes You Beautiful. Rihanna took the big prize in Video of the Year for her song We Found Love, featuring Calvin Harris. MTV, thank you so much. But most importantly, my fans, thank you so much for voting. I love you, Rihanna Nevy. In early October 2012, Felix Baumgartner attracted attention from the world when his jump to Earth from a helium bloom in the stratosphere was streamed live on the web. He set multiple world records like highest altitude of a manned balloon flight and highest altitude for a parachute jump, and he hit greatest freefall velocity. Over a hundred years hit the East Coast, millions were left without power. Hurricane Sandy crashing on shore. Waves have picked up significantly here. Look at these waves, they are just enormous. The storm is expected to bring life threatening storm surge and hurricane force wind. In Philadelphia, New York, and Washington, D.C., 12 million people were left without public transportation, and over 1 million were without power at one point. America was devastated by the most destructive storm of the 2012 hurricane season, Hurricane Sandy, in late October 2012, with the winds reaching up to 115 miles per hour. There was $75 billion worth of damage as a result of Sandy. In November 2012, America voted for the presidential re-election of President Barack Obama against Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney. It was actually a series of narrow state wins that gave President Obama a decisive victory. Obama won the popular vote with 57.7% of votes and won the electoral vote with 61.71% of votes. You, the American people, reminded us that while our road has been hard, while our journey has been long, we have picked ourselves up, we have fought our way back, and we know in our hearts that for the United States of America, the best is yet to come. He tweeted a picture with First Lady Michelle Obama saying four more years and received over 800,000 retweets. In early February 2013, hundreds of videos emerged featuring the Harlem Shake. The original video featured swimmers on the University of Georgia team. Videos from the Norwegian Army, rock bands, and more surfaced online as a craze for the rest of the month. Cool J, your host for the Grammys tonight. L. Cool J hosted the 55th Grammys on February 10th, 2013. During the show, the record of the year went to Gautier for his song, Somebody That I Used To Know, featuring Kimbra. Song of the year and best new artist went to Fun. Fun. I didn't think we were going to win this one, I've got to be honest. Frank Ocean, The Lumineers. Album of the Year was awarded to Mumford & Sons for their album, Babel. And the Grammy goes to Babel, Mumford & Sons. Producer, Marcus Grimes. In mid-February 2013, a powerful meteorite crashed to Earth in Shelyabinsk, Russia, causing 33 million U.S. dollars worth of damage. There were about 1,500 injuries and over 7,000 buildings affected by the meteorite.
After the death of Hugo Chavez, the election of Pope Francis, and the Boston Marathon events, the next major event was in late May 2013. Tornadoes in Oklahoma have been causing destruction everywhere. At least nine people have died in the recent tornado weather, with hundreds more injured. So that is everything outside of STEM. But do you remember what happened at the academy during the school year? In August 2012, the Downingtown STEM Academy held classes for 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. The junior class pushed through year one of the International Baccalaureate program with great success. In October 2012, the STEM TV studio installation was complete. No more announcements will be run off of a student laptop. The studio is complete with HD cameras, live production equipment, and professional editing features in post-production. In December 2012, students and teachers participated in the second annual dodgeball tournament. The grand champions were Dumbledore's Army, with members Jeremy Cleary, Ethan Ducover, Evan Herman, Skylar Clark, Caitlin Lorge, Izzy Giordano, Savannah Eads, led by team captain Sam Waxman. 123 people from STEM drove to Washington, D.C. on a freezing day off from school in January at 3 in the morning to catch the second presidential inauguration of President Barack Obama. They came back later that day with many memories to share and enjoy with others. In February 2013, the second annual Winter Formal Dance was held. Students and teachers came out that night to dance, play games, and have fun. It turned out to be a great success. To celebrate March 14th, Pi Day, students pied some teachers in the face. A charity fundraiser was the decision maker as to what teachers would be pied. Good morning, STEM Academy. Mr. Dean and I are here this morning to introduce some exciting news. May started off strong with Mr. Staub and Mr. Daney announcing the winners of the NASA project. Four and a half months ago, we challenged all the kids in the school to put together a space proposal that could be tested on the International Space Station. The three winning teams were all underclassmen. Congratulations. I'm back. <laughs> Hello, uh, Danielle and Catherine. How's the show been going for you? It's it's been awesome. pretty great. Yeah, this is such a great experience and this is awesome. And we've yeah. never done this before, so this was a lot of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of the STEM Academy also enjoyed it. Um, to end the show, really, I just have a few words to say. In case you forgot the 2012-2013 uh, school year, you've completed 180 days of school. And now I'd like to speak to each class individually. Ninth graders, congr congratulations on your first year at STEM. Uh, it seems to have been very successful. I hope you enjoyed your first year of not just STEM, but high school. And before you know it, you'll be applying to college just like us juniors are applying this year. Tenth graders, you've completed your second year of STEM. And I'm glad, I'm glad you spent your time with us again this year. Only two more years until you graduate. And my advice to you, start thinking about college stuff now. Because if you save yourself time now, then you'll save yourself stress later. Uh, see most of you in the IB program next year for year one. Finally, eleventh graders. Can you believe it? Junior year of high school is done. Pretty much everyone is done with their college search. And uh, summer is the time to apply, so make sure that you also get your extended essay draft finished this summer. I also recommend trying to do your practicum, and I hope to see all of you next year for IB Year 2. And I want to thank all of you personally for the fantastic experience that 11th grade has been, and um, I hope everyone can say the same thing. And we actually want to say some few words to Alex. So thank you so much for being our uh, broadcast director this year. We've had... So yeah. much fun. Um, I'm really excited for next year. And I think from our entire crew, everyone wanted to give a big shout out and thank you for all your hard work. But yeah, you've done, start crying. You've, done oh, so much, you've done so much for like the show. You organized this entire thing. You got us a schedule. You made sure we were all ready for this. You got all of our acts ready. It was just, it's amazing what you've done for this. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And yeah. I hope the rest of the STEM Academy enjoyed it. Yeah. So, everybody, have a great summer. Thank you for watching. That's all for today, Downtown STEM Academy. That's all for this year. And have a great summer. See you next year. Bye.